Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve a normal uh, distribution problem. I will read the statement of the problem to you. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average weekly uh, pay for a U.S. production worker was $441.84. So we know mu is equal to 441.84. Um, Assume the available data indicate that the production worker wages were normally distributed, so now we know that we have to use the normal distribution, and the standard deviation was $90. So sigma is 90. Um, what is the probability that a worker earned between 400 and 500? So the probability that we're after is probability that x, our normally distributed random variable, is between 400 and 500 dollars. We need to convert this to a, a z distribution where we can define uh, x to be a z variable and be able to define the 400 and 500 in z terms. So in order to do that, we're going to draw our normal curve. On the x-axis, we know the mean is 441.84. And we want to know the uh, um, area between 400 and 500, the probability that uh, income will be or wages will be between those two uh, areas. To convert this to z, we know the z value uh, mean is equal to 0. And let's figure out what the z is associated with 400. I'll call that z1. And let's see what the z is associated with z2 or with, uh, to, uh, associated with 500, which I, I will call Z2. Z1 is equal to 400 minus 441.84 divided by 90, which gets to be 0.4649, but I'm going to round that off to, uh, it's a negative, negative 0 0.46. The reason why I use two decimals is because the normal distribution table reports z values to two decimals. So we know z1 is negative 0.46. z2 is 400 minus 441.84 divided by 90, and that is 0.6462, but because I am um, uh, using the z distribution, uh, I'm going to round it off to 0 0.65 because the z table reports two, two decimals. Now, um, uh, I'm going to put that one down, 0.65. So now I've converted this x distribution to a z distribution, where to the left I'm going to put 0.46, and to the right I'm going to put 0.65. We're going to use our normal table to answer the question. Find 0.65, the answer is 0.2422, the area is 0.2422. So over here we have 0.2422. Over here, find 0.65 z value, read the probability, 0.65, the answer is 0.2422. Oops, I'm sorry, I think I read the wrong one. 0.46. It's 0 0.1772, 0 0.1772. I'm going to erase this, 0 0.1772. Uh, and over here for this one is 0 0.2422. So to come up with this answer, we have to add the two areas, 0 0.1772 plus 0 0.2422. And the answer is 0 0.4194. Thank you.